Give a man a gun and you've given him a problem. When does he use it? Police officers know they could face that decision at any moment. Now I know too. Police officer, put your hands up. This is the Newport News Police Department's Shoot, Don't Shoot Firearms course, the first in the country to use human actors rather than paper targets. It's meant to be stressful, and it is. I'm going to shoot! I'm going to shoot! In this situation, I was outfoxed. The woman had the gun. I took the bullet. Here the scenario is simpler, but the decision still difficult. I'm told this man has already killed two people when I come through the door. I shoot first and win here, but did I fire soon enough? When he starts moving it to you, then that means that's the overt attempt. He's planning on killing you. Okay, now don't give him to the minute where he's got it pointed dead at you, because if you do that, then of course, you're not gonna outdraw a 12 gauge shotgun. This next situation is easily one of the toughest an officer can encounter. A shotgun is at the head of a hostage. The gunman taunting me to put my revolver down was prepared to shoot or be shot. Fearing for the woman, I never pulled the trigger. He did. Let her go. I'll shoot. I don't care. Let her go. I don't care. Let her go. What, what should I have done? By all reasoning, what you should have done is once you locked in and got a good sight picture on the subject, you should have aimed for somewhere two inches across the eye. And if you had to, to shoot the, the man, if he had turned the weapon toward you, then you should have fired for that spot. But I'd have to really feel as if I could have killed him. You should have feel like you could kill him with that one shot, yes. It's a tough decision, I guess, for a police it's officer. It's a tough decision. With a, a hostage right there. And you have to be able to do it. Deputy Police Chief Charles Hinman helped develop the realistic firearms course four years ago. It has since become an integral part of the police department's training program. It's aimed to keep innocent civilians and policemen alive. None of us have uh, any desire to, to kill. But in order to protect the public, we have to protect ourselves first. Of course, many policemen don't adequately protect themselves, either in obvious life or death situations or on routine matters. You talk to that officer over there. You talk to him. Each year, dozens of police officers across the country are killed in the line of duty. Charles Hinman says many of those deaths could probably be avoided. I do not know of any shooting incidents where the officers have been injured or killed whereby they did not make a tactical mistake. Now, I'm not saying that they were not good police officers, but what I am saying is that they made a tactical error that caused either their injury or their death. This is Joel Rubin reporting.